Soul Alley is a three decade journey that examines the little known legacy of African Americans in the U.S. military during the Vietnam War and the stories of the children they left behind. Here to tell us about this amazing documentary is the director and the man behind the film, Mr. Ted Irving. How are you, sir? How are you? Yeah, yeah thank you good, for good. coming. No, thank thanks you for, for having coming. me. Yeah, this is yeah. going to be great. And this is very, for me, a very emotional documentary because I saw the film. Um, so tell me, what's the documentary about and why Soul Alley? So it is about black veterans and in the war, Vietnam War, and uh, the neighborhood they created. Well, one of them right. uh, happened to be called Soul Alley, uh, which was actually coined by white GIs, American GIs, during the war because of the, you know, Soul Brother. But that's not really oh. the real name. Uh, but if you look at the doc, it tells you yeah. the actual real name that the African Americans called it. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, this is something very personal to you because I heard your father is a military, right? Well, he was, um, he was a vet. Okay. Uh, he didn't go to Vietnam, but he okay. was a vet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So wh what does this mean to you doing this film? Well, I'm, I'm a real big supporter of the military and probably since I was a kid. My mom in 1982 purchased Time Life's series on Vietnam. I think there were 20 books. Right. I ended up with eight, and there's one called Combat Photographer. And in that one volume, there's one little line that says, Soul Alley and a picture of one African-American soldier. And it just kind of stuck with me all these years, just looking at his face and, of course, reading the books. Right. You know, they show death and, you know, killing and just kind of sad as a kid and just wondering, you know, what, what is this all about, the war, and what is this Soul Alley? Because there's only one mention. And even on the internet today, if you search, it takes a lot to find anything on this soul alley. Right. There's just not much no about history, it. No history, no record, right. anything. Okay. So what does it feel like uh, f doing this film? And what do you hope to accomplish about this film? Well, I hope to accomplish is get the word out about the history. Okay. But then also about the children of really all right. uh, American soldiers. Okay. Uh, the documentary doesn't just really focus on African-American um, African Americans and their children, but all the GIs and their children. And okay. of course, we'd like to get it in, you know, Amazon or Netflix. I want the uh, a wider audience right. and people to be able to to see this story because the story has been told, but the Soul Alley portion of it has never been told. Yeah. Oh, actually, we have a clip of the movie. So, can you describe what are we showing? Yeah, this is yeah. kind of funny. Um, this clip is actually about the soldiers talking about something called Saigon Tea. Man, I don't know what they put in that drink. I can't fool with that stuff no more. You go in and the Vietnamese ladies would approach you and ask you to buy them what's called a Saigon tea. No, a lot of times a lot of women would ask you to buy you a, a Saigon tea. Then you find out later on. For the most part, either tea or Coca-Cola. All it was was Coca-Cola. It's just a way of kind of separating you from some of your money before they separate you from some of your other money for the actual act. Oh, I had plenty of that Saigon tea. They would always say, no tea, no talk, no money, no honey. Well, it, it's, it's a strong rice wine kind of uh, liquor, but uh, <laughs> okay. Vietnamese, right. um, and of course during the war, this is lingo in the war, but Papa Sons, Mama Sons, they would sell this to GIs, right. and sometimes it would be just a really strong rice wine, or it could be <laughs> Coke, right? or it could be, you know, they would do things and add to it. Uh, sometimes it'd be really, really strong because they were trying to, you know, make money. You right. know what I'm saying? The GIs <laughs> would fall out and wake up and all their money's gone and everything. <laughs> right. yeah. Wow. So tell the viewers, how can we support this film? So um, if you like a screening. Yeah. Uh, you can definitely reach out to soulalley.org.org. Okay. Uh, reach out and, uh, and screenings are free. Right. So if I would like to just, you know, have saturation if possible. Right. Anyone, everyone that wants to have a screening, they can show it. Yeah. This is really a great film. I really felt uh, connected to it in a sense because, you know, being an immigrant myself, you know, coming to this country. And I think that was the purpose really of the film, showing all these kids that were left behind in Saigon. And, you know, there were Americans, right? right? And all the discrimination that happened there. So this is really, and I really appreciate you for being here and talked about the Soul Alley. And hopefully we can help you um, really just advertise uh, this film so people can see what it, this is all about. No, I appreciate it. And then one quick thing, uh, this phenomenon is 
you know, Americans, you know, we go off to war. This right. is not just Vietnam, it's the Philippines. As a matter of fact, right. yes. the largest population of children uh, birthed by uh, military men during war is Philippines. Right. Uh, but in Germany, yeah. they call them the brown babies. Uh, in yeah. um, Korea, we have children in Korea. I mean, everywhere American forces have been, they right. sire children. All right. Well, folks, Seoul Alley, don't forget, this is Ted Irving. And really appreciate you for being here today. And um, wish you the best of luck. Hey, thank, thank you, sir, so much. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.